I'm from Denver. I'm going to tell you what I've learned from working in the emergency department. I've learned that my first job in the emergency department as a doctor is determine whether you're sick or not sick. And that means figuring out if you're going to die or get critically ill in the next seconds to days. And that assessment takes 10 seconds, and these people get seen first. And I've learned that my job is to believe everyone. If you come to see me, you're there because of fear or pain, and you need me to believe you right now. The truth is stranger than fiction, and I want to believe you, and I hope that you can trust me to help take care of you. But I know that you're lying to me, too. And that's okay, but wouldn't it just be easier what you, what, if you told me what you put up your rectum, sir? <clears throat> but I lie to you, too, mostly through omission. I know your CT scan is covered in cancer and it's a death sentence, but I give you hope and say the diagnosis is still uncertain. And I've learned that the only people that get shot are minding their own business or going to church. And I've learned that there really is about a gallon and a half of blood in the human body. An OxyClean or a good enzymatic cleaner is the trick at getting out those blood stains. And I've learned that we live in a state with the best paramedics and EMTs in the entire world. And you probably didn't realize it, but it's a miracle that by calling three digits from your cell phone, you can get the best emergency care in the world faster than you can get a sandwich from Jimmy John's. And I've learned that I don't want to do CPR on your grandmother. But since no one talked about what to do when she died, we're cracking her ribs and putting her on the breathing machine. And it really just seems like torture at the end of her life. And advanced directives aren't death panels, but ways to make dying people have dignity. And I've learned that when people die, I don't know how to say it. Is it she has died or she died? And when I say that, people don't really know what to do or say. They just sit there, and we both kind of stare in silence. And I've learned that the worst part of my day is waking up a young, successful pre professional who had too many beers the night before and hit a pedestrian on the way home, and I'm discharging them to jail. And the face that I see is going to be their face shot in about an hour and a half at the jail. And I've learned that alcohol really probably is the most dangerous drug that there is, and it kills more people, and it causes more hurt than you can ever imagine. And if you have the gene that makes you crave it, you're up for the hardest battle you'll ever have to fight. And I've learned that heroin is a tough drug to kick, too. And people don't want to be on it, but their body wants it because they can't get the oxys that they're, they got addicted to from a few too many doctors for their aches and their pains. And I know that half a gram might keep the withdrawals away, and that's about 30 bucks on the streets in Denver. And I've also learned that there's no such thing as an accident. People make decisions that have consequences every day, and I don't know whether to blame the people or the environment or their genes or policy or poverty. And I've learned that sometimes you have to hurt in order to heal. And I know this because I stick needles and tubes into people and it's not fun for them. And I know you have to hurt in order to heal because sometimes I cry at home after I can't shake it off. And I thank those patients in my heart because it won't happen again next time. And I've learned that Eminem's Lose Yourself has 76 million views on YouTube and lots of those are me still because it still gets me pumped before a shift. <laughs> and I know it's silly, but what can you do because on the surface, <laughs> I look calm and ready, but my palms really do get sweaty. <laughs> and I've learned that when people come to the emergency department, they quickly forget why they initially came, and they start to hyper-focus on why we won't let them have water. And the dynamic can become jailer and prisoner if you're not careful, but tests take time, and I'm sorry. And I've learned that nurses can break you into tiny little bits if you don't ask them their opinion or if you boss them around or they can help you have the best shift of your life if you just listen hard enough to what they have to say. And I've learned that marijuana probably is safer than alcohol in reasonable amounts, but edibles can make you have the worst day of your life if you're just passing through from Florida. And you, <laughs> and you eat the entire bar after the first bite didn't do anything after 10 minutes. And I've learned that my miss rate for heart attacks is required to be zero, so I spend all your money without ever asking you what your risk tolerance is. And if you're over 65, you're more likely to die if you have abdominal pain, but we get sued more for chest pain, so we see those people faster. And I've learned that 50% of motorcycle riders don't wear helmets in Colorado, and they say they know the consequences, but maybe they don't. A devastating brain, gen brain injury as a trade for the freedom to let the wind blow through your hair seems like a bad trade to me. And I've learned that there is no place you'd rather be 
than if you're having a true emergency than where I work, but I'm not that good at refilling your blood pressure pills. And I've learned that when people come to the emergency department during a Broncos game, they're either really sick or just not sports fans, but probably really sick. And I've learned that the emergency department is truly the place for anyone, anytime, and will try to listen and do the right thing and help you with the fear or the pain that you feel. And I've learned that the most important patient is the one in front of you until someone comes in with no heartbeat, in which case you'll have to wait just a little bit longer.